Hello. I'm pleased this year to present a, a little remembrance for the Louis Pasteur, who celebrates his 200th birthday this year. Louis Pasteur was born in Dole, France in 1822, the middle of five children of a family that had been in the leather tanning business for generations. As a child, he was a gifted uh, artist, but he was encouraged by his mentors to overcome his academic deficiencies in the sciences and prepare with rigor for entering into the famous teachers college in Paris, Ecole Normale Supérieure. After receiving his master's there in 1845, followed by his doctorate in 1847, he continued working at the college as a lab assistant while waiting for a suitable academic appointment. He continued his doctorate work, which was on the optical activity of certain crystals. And very soon with a number of scientific publications to his credit, Pasteur secured a position in the Faculty of Sciences in Strasbourg at the University of Lille. It was there that he started working on fermentation and held the minority view that was against the prevailing current thinking that fermentation was caused by spontaneous generation. Pasteur returned to Ecole Normal as director of scientific study, studies, where he continued to challenge, challenge this theory and clearly showed that fermentation was caused by living microorganisms, in this case, yeasts. He also showed that wine was spoiled by bacteria and they could be destroyed by heating by a process that we now know as pasteurization. In fact, the famous UK surgeon, Joseph Lister, followed Pasteur's advice by sterilizing his surgical instruments. And this saved many, many lives. Sadly, this practice was not followed by his colleagues until many years later. The catalyst that led Pasteur to his work on disease was the terrible disease affecting France's silk industry in the late 1860s. At that, at that time, Pasteur also, Pasteur also suffered a stroke that left him partially paralyzed on his left side. Despite this health setback, Pasteur discovered that two organisms were responsible for the silkworm sickness and essentially saved France's silk industry, which was a major, major industry at that time. The government built a new laboratory for Pasteur who was relieved of his administrative and teaching duties so he could focus on studying diseases. His first attention was drawn to foul cholera, which led to the development of a vaccine. This was achieved by reducing the strengths of the microbes involved and then injecting it into the affected fowl. Um, and, to, and he found to his delight, not only did the, did the chickens survive, but they were all disease free. Pasteur then turned his attention to anthrax, which affected sheep and in a public demonstration showed the effectiveness of a two part inoculation with his new vaccine. Pasteur then examined a disease that afflicted both animals and humans, rabies, and he was able to develop a vaccine that protected dogs bitten by a rabid dog. However, a woman arrived with her young son, Joseph Meister, who was bitten by a rabid dog, and she begged Pasteur to treat him, otherwise he would die. Now, Pasteur, who had only worked with animals, was very reluctant, but he did agree and he saved the boy's life with his vaccine. Following the success of this and other of his vaccines in saving thousands of lives, people around the world donated funds that established the Pasteur Institute in Paris that continues its biomedical research, including discovering and producing 
vaccines. Pasteur's work certainly laid the foundation for the development of the current vaccines against the COVID pandemic. He was a remarkable individual who, in spite of his partial paralysis, opened up the new fields of microbiology and bacteriology. Together with Robert Cox, they are considered to be the fathers of microbiology and bacteriology. And this song will highlight some of the achievements of Louis Pasteur. And certainly in these days, we certainly need a Louis Pasteur. Thank you. The amazing contributions of Louis Pasteur made him a truly outstanding monsieur. Born in Dol, France, two centuries ago, his discoveries highlighted in this my solo. Louis Pasteur, father of microbiology, his Anzac vaccine made history. In yeast fermented products, wine and beer, he killed spoilage organisms when they appear. His patented process got lots of attention. It's now known in processing as pasteurization. Louis Pasteur, a brilliant academic, laid the foundation for the vaccine against the COVID pandemic. Concerning the theory of spontaneous generation, to Pasteur it was nonsense, just pure machination. Millions of microbes are found everywhere, sterilize everything with the greatest of care. Louis Pasteur, a father of bacteriology, his color of vaccine made history. Joseph Lister, the UK surgeon, took Pasteur's advice, sterilizing his instruments once, maybe twice. This successful treatment saved so many lives. Sadly, it was years before others did likewise. Louis Pasteur, a brilliant academic, laid the foundation for the vaccine against the COVID pandemic. His masterful work on germs and disease began in the 1860s with his silkworm studies. Finding the cause of the silkworm's malaise saved France's silk industry to everyone's praise. Louis Pasteur, the father of microbiology, his color of vaccine made history. The 
very first vaccine Pasteur ever tested was on a group of foul cholera infected. Injecting a weakened microbe, he was so pleased as the chicken survived and no longer diseased. Louis Pasteur, a brilliant academic, laid the foundation for the vaccine against the COVID pandemic. Pasteur weakened microbes, causing disease as the basis for his vaccine against anthrax and rabies. He only used animals when conducting this work, but saved a boy from a rabid dog from going berserk. Louis Pasteur, the father of bacteriology, his rabies vaccine made history. His scientific and medical contributions provided the world with healthy solutions which we certainly need now. For this he garnered awards and great fame. The Pasteur Institute in Paris still honors his name. Louis Pasteur, a father of microbiology, his anthrax, cholera, and rabies vaccines made history. Louis Pasteur, a brilliant academic, laid the foundation for the vaccine against the COVID pandemic. Laid the foundation for the vaccine against the COVID pandemic.